All right, guys, welcome to episode 124 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got the dogs put up. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that like button, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment, share with a friend, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? There's multiple ways of showing love, and we appreciate you that do. All right, so welcome back, episode 124. Nice, beautiful Tuesday. What we doing, Johnny? What we doing? What we doing? How we feeling? What we doing? What we doing? Welcome back. Hey, welcome, welcome back. back. I'll tell you what we doing real quick. You know what I'm saying? We're lighting a blunt, light a J, pack your bone, pack your bowl, get your edibles ready, your dab rigs, whatever the fuck it is that you do. Yeah. Cannabis friendly show. Okay. So let's get that popping. All right. You already know what it but is. But it's a fucking beautiful Tuesday, man. It's beautiful. You know, we looking good, feeling good. It is what it is, man. Oh, we it got fucking rain. We, got, <laughs> we hey, got some rain and mushrooms behind us. We got some us. rain, mushrooms, and a beautiful fucking uh, scenery, all right? Yeah, How about bro. that? Yeah, man. So uh, what'd you do? What'd you do this weekend? Shit, man. Honestly, I found me a fucking job. So he found him a fucking job. I got me a job. All right. Hey, round of applause. Round of applause for him. Yeah, man. I ended up getting a little construction job. You know, Monday through Friday, seven to four. Something light, man. Just a little. It might be heavy. You know, it might be heavy though. (laughs) You know, but it's something like you know, full benefits, four hundred one k, all the good shit. Guess what? I'm trying to get in that bitch too. Now we getting my dog in there. I told him. I already talked to. I already talked to my supervisor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he's gonna talk to his boss, so we could get you in about Friday. So round of applause to Johnny Boy. We're gonna get him aboard. And it's yo, listen, man. That's actually something that's good to talk about. Anybody that has like jobs with full benefits for yourself for the family. Like, go down in the comments and let us know how that helps you out, you know what I mean, and how beneficial it really is, because the benefits for this company are really great, man. Like, it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. Facts, bro, because I had to fucking pay, like, $1,400 just to get my teeth fixed on just one tooth. It was one tooth that was fucked. And I had to pay fourteen hundred dollars without insurance. So I got four of expensive. them. I got to do so. It gets expensive, bro. Yeah, man. Like shit ain't cheap. It's gonna help out, man. It's gonna help out with a lot. But yeah, bro, I'm gonna be in a skid steer somewhere, bro. Moving some dirt, bro. Chilling. Moving some mulch. Cooling. Bro. Getting dark because my dog is dark. <laughs> ah, bro. I'm, gonna have, I'm telling you, bro. I bought everything I need, bro. You know the Pooh icy mask. Damn. I even bought one of those in the reflective shit, the the yellow shit. Yeah. I even bought one of those, bro. Oh shit! Yeah, so I'm gonna have. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have my whole face covered. I'm gonna look my like fucking, a Terminator. I'm gonna have my coasters on. I have long sleeves. The only part of my body, literally, that's gonna be exposed is gonna be my hands. That's it. Wow. Everything else is gonna be out of the sun. Fuck well, that. I mean, shit. You're gonna be sweating your fucking ass off. Oh, of course, but it's okay, man. They have yeah. different positions. Yeah. After a few months, you know, I'll be, is, I'll be in a motherfucking yo, machine with AC and shit. My dog, <laughs> straight is, up. My dog is about to fucking take over, John. That's the company. Hey, that's how it goes, man. That's how that <laughs> shit goes. Sometimes you gotta walk in and let them know who's John who. Wall. You gotta know who's who. But listen, man, being babied in this world, right? I feel like too many people are fucking babied, right? And it all started with like participation trophies and shit. I remember when I was a kid, right? You either won or you lost. <laughs> you a loser or you a fucking winner. All yeah. right. It's either you've been babied all your fucking life, or you fucking uh, you've you've been through something. You've been through something. So I feel like the people, I feel like the people that been through some shit actually get farther. Of course, because you know how to deal with pressure. You know how to deal with certain situations. Mm-hmm. It's different when you're babied your whole fucking life, man. Like it's just it's different, man. Like you, I feel like it, it fucks. It actually fucks you up in life because it creates a safety net that you get used to. So whenever you fuck up, you can call somebody, you can get some help, whatever the fuck. And it's like, that's not how the m- real world is for most people. It's like, you most people don't have nobody to call. Like, you a, gotta, if you broke, you broke. You're going to you're gonna have to work until you save some bread. You know what I'm saying? Will, like, a, if there's a will, there's a way. That's a fact. That's a fact. It all comes down to mentality, too. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But just people like that being baby, man, it's just, I don't know, bro. They did a study that like you're supposed to let your baby cry and self-comfort itself. Yeah, man. Like instead of running, like because if the there's baby nothing will learn. wrong with the yeah. baby, like if they're fed, there's nothing wrong with them. They might be a little cranky. Let them cry. Let them cry themselves. <laughs> Most of the time, they cry themselves to sleep when there's nothing wrong with them because you're just cranky, bro. You're literally crying for nothing. Yeah, and you got to learn that it's like 
nigga, that's how you feel before you fall asleep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just natural. Yeah, that's just what it is, man. And it's just like they did like that study shit where it's just like, okay, well, just let them fucking cry, bro. Let them. And they did like statistics saying that, like, hey, like, if you leave your baby to cry, like, it won't learn. Like, all right, I'm going to cry and I know mom's going to pick me up. Nah, facts. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's not going to learn kids that are, shit. Kids are smart, man. They yeah. know how to manipulate sometimes. A lot of the times. Like, they'll be like, yo, I know if I cry, I get this. I get a lollipop. Whatever the <laughs> fuck. You know what I'm saying? So they do it. Yeah. But listen, man, speaking of fucking babies, right? Speaking of babies, I remember being baptized when I was a kid, right? I wasn't a baby baby, but I was baptized, right? But there's videos I've seen of so many babies being fucking Dunked into a goddamn <laughs> gallon a fucking, fucking bird baths, bro. Yeah, like what the fuck, bro? The yeah. fucking this, the priest is sitting there. Hallelujah! Fucking <laughs> dumps them over. Jesus the mom's Christ. over there is picking them Jesus up. Jesus Christ! Ah. In Jesus' name, dumps you, dumps you down like a fucking ice cube, huh? <laughs> and fucking floats right back up. And fucking yeah, bro, it's crazy, the man. The baby's I, crying. The church is freaking what out. Would the you dad do? wants to what, punch the priest. What would you do? You would have to control yourself, man. It's the priest. It's the priest, but bro. I'll tell you what. I'm going to hell, bro. I'm no, going to bro. hell, and I'm punching that hey, priest. Bro. I'm. I might just have to dunk your head <laughs> into the water <laughs> the same way my baby's head was dunked into the water. I mean, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a little bit of dunk. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nothing too serious. Right, dunk. It's a minor dunk. Yo, it's a minor dunk. Yeah. It's like Steph Curry going up for yeah, a dunk. Yeah, you know, it ain't fucking. Uh, ain't supposed to shack uh, that motherfucker. Nah, it's a little light. You know what I mean? It's around the curve. You know, <laughs> around the bowl. You know, but, <laughs> around the rim. Uh, yeah. put, his, put his scalp around the rim. Right. How quick, do they you know? do it? Did they do it like that? Or I don't remember. No, bro. They literally just like lower, just like the back. Of, they don't put the whole baby's fucking head underwater. They just put like the back of the head in the water lightly, and then they dip them out. But. Guys just drop them or like fucking dunk their whole shit. Like, or you they ain't dunking my baby. Or bro. they do that shit at like the churches around here. They go to the ocean, they dump your whole fucking body. Like, man, I'll just do that shit myself, bro. I'll just dunk my whole self in there. You know what? Hallelujah. 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 Yo, don't play it. Don't nah, play it. Nah, yeah, yeah wow. Well, nah. nah, but yeah, man, being baptized, bro. Sometimes nah. it goes left, sometimes baptized? it goes right. You know what I mean? Yeah, we were all baptized. Yeah, facts. Facts. That's a fact. It's true, though. Well, I mean, some people aren't. Yeah, some people aren't. Some people aren't. If you ain't Catholic, you don't. Re- you know what I'm saying? You don't really get baptized like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you get baptized. Be- well, no, you get baptized I don't know. being Christian, too. Yeah, I think, I think get everybody baptized gets baptized. baptized. I'm not sure. I don't know about that. I don't know, yeah, but, but yo, y'all go down yeah. in the comments and let us know if you've been baptized, if you was dunked, seen a baby dunked, whatever. Yeah. Let us know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A baby let us dunk. know. But listen, man. I wanted to talk about when she tells you that she hates you. Mm. All right. Ladies, I see right through that masquerade. I see right through it. You love me. And you love me so much that you hate it. You don't hate me. You hate the fact that you love me like Rihanna. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm telling you. Nah, nah, that ass, bro. That ass, bro. Le- love and hate is a very fine line. I'm going to tell you what, bro. I came to the conclusion that... <laughs> You really have to know what you want in life. Sure. And like what you really, really want, like in, in a relationship and your, your career and anything, you really got to know what you want in life. A lot of people don't know who they are as a person. That's a big fact. That's a big fact. They don't the know conclusion. who they are or they're just scared to be who they are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you can't be. You got to be yourself, regardless of what it looks like to anybody else. You know what I mean? Yeah. But- yeah, bro. I like, agree. So that's that's kind of the main thing for men and women. Like, it doesn't matter. Nowadays, people don't know what the fuck they want. So they're just going to fucking grab whatever the fuck they want. So that whole women thing, like, oh, I hate you. Like, no, they don't. It depends. Yeah, no. Nah, some, I mean, some, some women. I mean, do. I got, I mean, I got some people that hate me. You know, you know but I mean? some but, women do. Yeah. But, oh, man, it just. Listen, bro. People are weird. Somebody might hate you because of the way that other people love you. Some people might hate you because they actually low key admire you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just weird. People, the psychology is different. Everybody's brain works different. You know what I mean? But I don't know, man. Like, from my experience, bro, every girl that's told me that she hates me, baby, hit me up tomorrow. Hey, <laughs> 
Maybe you don't. You're not mad at me. You're you're not mad. Mad. It's okay. No, you are mad at me, but it's okay. Just, uh, just calm down. You ever look? You know what I mean? I forgive you for everything you just said already. She, I already she, forgive she you. Don't suck my dick, even though she mad at me. <laughs> it don't matter. All right, that's what the baby said. All right. Oh yes. man, the baby's a fucking wild ass nigga. Shout out to the baby, man. Round of applause to the baby. I know that people canceled him. They hate him for what he said on stage. I'm still rocking with you, bro. We all make mistakes think, in yeah, life. Yeah, bro. We like, all get the do. fuck out of here. Everybody wants to act like they're so fucking perfect. Ah, man. this guy's supposed to be a fucking perfect person. Like, yeah, it's like, come well, on, bro. bro. All of us got our faults, man. We're none of us are perfect. Only person was Jesus. Yeah. Only perfect person was Jesus. Yeah, for, for real. real. For real. But listen, man. Guys, look, man. Recently, there was a carjacking that happened right around the corner from the house, right? Right here? You remember? Yeah, bro. There was the kid. He stole a car, bro. He carjacked the car and then got caught. The dogs, they sent the dogs after him and he shot the dogs. Damn. Yeah, bro. That happened. That happened right around the corner from the house. He got shot like 15 times. They arrested him, all that other shit. But <clears throat> did he die? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But Damn. the thing is, the thing is this, bro. Guys. If you're living a certain lifestyle, right, you know the risks that come with that shit. You know what I mean? Going to jail for a carjacking is better than going to jail for a carjacking and attempted murder on a police officer. And he's lucky those dogs didn't fucking die. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's very, very, very lucky that those dogs, he didn't shoot them and kill them. Because that is a police officer. It's not a dog. He shot them, though. He shot two of them. Yeah, nah. You're going to jail for like yeah, life. Yeah. Bro. You are. No, for real. You fucked up your whole life. Yeah. But you could have came home if you would have just went to jail for the carjacking. Think about that. That like people, like, there it could always be worse. You know what I'm saying? That's the main thing of the whole little story. It could always be worse. So if you're in a situation where you're in a bad situation, man, you know you fucked up, you made a decision, you're like, fuck, man, I really don't want to go. Just go though, bro. Just go. Just go. Because plenty of people go to jail 10, 15, 20 years, come home, and they're successful. But if you fuck around and do some stupid shit like that, you know, you shoot a police officer, dog, a dog, they don't, in court, it, it's not a difference. Yeah. It's like, There's no difference. It's like a police horse, They too. both have a badge. Yeah. So they're both Leos, law enforcement officers. Mm-hmm. You're fucked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's that's like fucked. killing an officer, bro, and that's fucked, man. Yeah. I don't know. I can't do that shit. I can't. I can't. Bro, I can't imagine go work, go do you know, stay low key. Even if you're doing some like it's illegal, just, man, just stay. You know what I mean? Like, just don't be a fucking idiot about what you do. It's man. just some people is like, bro, if you're gonna do things illegally, make sure you do it right because yeah, you're not bro. trying to get fucking caught. You yeah, know, some bro. people just do shit and they just, ah, uh, you know, whatever. It's like, what do you expect to happen? Nah, bro, you got to give up that lifestyle at a certain point, man. People are lost. You know, a lot of people get lost in life and they go through things and this and that, whatever. But in my opinion, man, you have to be able to like grow out of that and move on to other things in your life. There's more to life than than robbing people, selling drugs or whatever the fuck else there is to do, you know, in the streets. Like, there's way more to life than that shit. So, yeah, man, yeah, man like shout out, you know, shout out to the dogs. I'm glad they're, you know, this happened recently. Straight. Yeah, bro, like a week or two ago. Damn. Like, it was on the news and all that. But, yeah, like I said, shout out, round of applause to the dogs for making it. You know, I hope they make a full recovery. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, man, that guy fucked up his whole life. He fucked up his entire life over a stupid-ass decision. One decision. Five minutes of your life can change. That shit's shit's always going to happen. There's always going to be. It's natural selection. Yep. It's natural fucking selection. Straight up. Yep. Well, listen, man. Broken bones, guys. Broken bones. I broke my bone. Nah, I'm just kidding. I never, <laughs> bro- I never broke anything. Yeah, bro. Hey, man. Round of applause to you. My dog never, never broke, broke a bone. Never broke a bone. You know what I mean, I've broken the same wrist like fucking three times. And the last time I broke it, I didn't even go to the hospital. It was crazy. But breaking a bone is not fun. No. Bro, that shit is a different type of pain. I Some people have- pass out. For real, some people pass out. Some people throw up. Ooh, like some like it's the type of bro. It's such a horrible type of pain that you don't like. I, literally, you don't want nobody around you. Like when you, when you first fall, like I fell, bro, and I broke my wrist, and I was just sitting there, like fuck, like you feel it, bro. 
it's it's like instant fucking sharp pain and then it's just constantly like throbbing wherever the fuck you broke it and you're just sitting there like it's the worst pain bro and like people come up to you because i was playing basketball so like bro you straight get up like yo get the fuck away like it's a type of pain where like you want to murder somebody just by like for standing next to you bro like get away get away get away get away bro like <laughs> no bro like bro let me just try to survive <laughs> Nah, the pain real. hurts, bro. It hurts. Nah, like but I like, mean, yeah, nah. It's I, just a recover, a, been, a recovery process and shit. Like it's bad, bro. I don't, I don't suggest it. Nah, <laughs> the only thing that's really happened to me, bro. I've been like mauled by dogs and shit, and like wow. Yeah. The only <laughs> thing that's happened to me, I almost got murdered by four pit bulls. <laughs> nah, it was a Dalmatian and and one pit bull, and got they got loose. Man. And I was with Vivian, and I was rollerblading down a hill near my old fucking. Uh, Shout out to Vivian too. Yeah. And uh, she, she was there. She'll tell you the story. <laughs> and uh, she got away, but I tripped and fell. <laughs> hey, bro. Natural <laughs> selection. She I, she kept going, and the dog stopped and got my ass and started hey. ripping my ass apart, bro. <laughs> hey, so, Viv, you th- did the right thing. Go get help. Yo, they said. <laughs> they Go said, run and get help. My mom's like, ah! Running down the fucking street, fucking. She took me to the hospital and everything. She tried suing. My dad was like, "Nah, chill. It was an accident." Nah. And then yeah, like, but nah, nah. Fuck these dogs. <laughs> nah, but my shit was <laughs> fucked, bro. So, but like, you would think like you would be like afraid of dogs after that, but that. I never, yeah, some people get yeah. traumatized. Like, it all depends. Yeah, I remember we almost got attacked by a bunch of dogs one day, bro. We was outside catching, you know, playing catch with the baseball. It was me, Raul, and Janandi. It was like two Dominican niggas that lived. Jamandi, Janandi. Oh, try yeah, it. yeah. Try but it. Try might it. as well. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but they they used to live down the street, right? So yeah. like, we was just playing catch, like. It was two of us playing catch, and then there was one person running in between the two people. We were practicing, like, how to steal bases, like that type of drill. So, like, two people throwing the ball back and forth, and you got to try to get to a base. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, we were just doing that, whatever, playing around. And there was a, a Keith, redneck Keith. He lived right next to, you know what I'm saying, Kevin. He had, like, fucking a Rottweiler, two pit bulls, a German shepherd. Like, he had, like, seven big dogs, and they're all big. Bro, them niggas got out one day. And... All we see f- coming from the side of fucking Kevin's house is all these dogs. Raul threw the baseball at one of them niggas. We started running, bro, and we got on top of Kevin's dad's expedition. And that nigga, like, through the window, he was looking at what was going on. And he's like, <laughs> like seven dogs fucking trying to climb on this shit. We're on top, like, fucking trying to kick these fucking dogs. Like, bro, they were trying to attack us. And then you see fucking redneck Keith drunk as fuck running out, like... I'm so fucking sorry they got loose. <laughs> I was like, bro, we almost fucking died, bro. I almost got mauled, bro. <laughs> that shit was the closest I've ever been been to getting attacked by a dog. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, it was it was it was rough. They say that Dalmatians are are like more like they're very aggressive. Aggressive. They're an aggressive breed. They're an like, aggressive breed. Oof. But they're fearless. That's why they use them for firefighting. Yeah. Because they'll go into a fucking fire <laughs> and drag your bitch ass out. Well, they won't make it up. Or, yeah, but that's why they're yeah. fearless. Yeah. So they're like, I'll die in this bitch, dog. You want me to go in there? I'll go right I'll now. I'll go in there right now, bitch. I'll go fuck. Let me 50 now. But yeah, bro, broken bones is never fun, man. Don't ever fucking break a bone. I don't suggest it. It's stupid. Whatever. You know what yeah. I mean? But listen, guys, I wanted to talk about a quick little double standard, right? Women want to talk about double standards all the time. Today, I'm on the guy's side, right? Listen, man, nine times out of 10, y'all would get help with shit that we would never get help with, ever. For example, flat ties. You see a fucking woman on the side of the road. She got a kid in the back seat. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you know what? I'm going to help her out, whatever. I'm going to help her get this tie. You see a guy, <laughs> our size, because neither one of us is small motherfuckers. Nah. On the side of the road with a flat tie, what are you doing? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all live. Uh, y'all need water. Hey. I, I do everything but not stop. No, hey, you got muscles, bro. Nah, there was you somebody. You can get that tire off. What would you do? I've seen a video of a guy fucking... <laughs> Late at night, you're driving, right? And then there's a guy that just, like, has his car parked in the middle of the road. And he's, like, standing there on the highway. And then, like... He's Nobody like, cares. And then, like, <laughs> he, stopped, he stopped. He's like, hold on. He grabbed his strap. And then he just, like, pulled down. And then he put the window. He cracked the window. And he's just like, hey, man. Uh, and then he went to grab for the door. 
And then he just sped off around him and drove off. He was trying to rob people. Yeah, some people do that shit. But yeah. <laughs> my nigga, you can tell when somebody's really pissed on the side of the road, like they just broke down. You see the tires blown to shit. Yeah. You're like, all right, bro, this guy really blew a fucking tire. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, to be honest, though, like nowadays, I wouldn't. Yeah, no, nah, I don't. Yeah. I don't. Nowadays, I remember I, I remember Trey used to do shit like that. He'd be like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. They need help, bro. I'm like, bro. And I always told him, I was like, bro, if they up a strap on us right now, we get into a shootout, bros, on you. That happened to somebody around it here. Happens. That I know. Yeah. He it tried happens. to help somebody and they killed him. Yeah. For no reason. It's like, bro, I just tried helping you. It's like, bro, I tried to give you a jump. I should fucking <laughs> yeah. come back to life, bro, and run your ass over. That's just, that's just a crazy way to go out, bro. Nah, fuck you. Yeah. The guy that did that, you're going straight to hell, bro. No cap. Like, that's. Like that's one of the most fucked up things you could do. Yeah, is act like it, like you're fucking fucked up, and then a guy's like, "Yo, man, what do you need, bro? Like, I got a jump start, I got whatever, I got a tire, whatever." Yeah. And you kill the guy. I was like, "Bro, <laughs> the fuck? You don't get no respect from me. Like, nah. You're a bitch ass nigga. Nah, you are. That ass straight up flat tire. Head straight ass up, niggas, man. man. Flat tire head ass niggas, bro. That's just how that shit go, bro. Yeah, bro. I mean. <laughs> Honestly, bro, I need to get the tools for the flat tire shit because. Oh, yeah, that shit that pumps yeah, your shit. Yeah. It's like a hundred something bucks, bro, but it was the best. It was like 150. It was the best 150 I ever spent, bro. It fills up a tire in less than two minutes from completely flat to full in less than two minutes. You could be on the side of the highway, get a flat yeah. and pump it up and make it to the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Make it to the tire shop. Like it's like that. So I suggest you fucking do it. I suggest you do it, bro. Yeah, nah. I mean, I just take care of my tires before I even go. Like I always check my shit. Like I check my lights. You know, yeah. I'm like, all right, this one's kind of flat. Let me go fill it up. Facts. You know, what that's I mean? why I like, love the cars with the tire sensors. My shit, my shit. I don't even think it works. On yeah. My, to be honest with nah, you, I'm glad. I'm glad it works on both mines, bro. Because that shit, it helps out a lot, bro. Like it's like as soon as you see the tire sensors, so you're like, all right, I gotta fill up, or one of them's off. Something yeah. to let you know. But like the older cars, that's why people used to blow tires on the side of the road because you don't know. You're just driving and you I mean, don't know your I, fucking you can, tires. You can, look, you can look at it, but some people yeah, just don't you look. You can look at it. You can look some at people it. just don't look. They just like you, you gotta check what? your car, man. It's like someone you gotta do they... a walk around, check your lights, <laughs> make sure your fucking tires on there. The women just hop in and go. They don't even let the oil get into the bro, engine before it yeah, fucking so goes. <laughs> we've talked about it before, yo, baby. Look. Let it warm up. You gotta warm. Hey, you warm. you like to be warmed up, yeah. right? You don't like to fucking yeah. get crank started. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't like, like, you don't like a pipe going in the instantly, <laughs> right? You like to get fucking little moist. Yo, up listen, there. bro. Like, you like, gotta get, fuck, get, get the lubes running. Yo, you gotta let it run for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let it warm itself up. Yeah. All right? Let it warm itself up, and then you hop in. And then you hop you in. You feel me? Like a hot oven. <laughs> you ever seen those hot ovens? <laughs> those fucking... Yo, you remember when we were kids, those little fucking shit you bake cookies yeah, in? Yeah, and you're just like... I was jealous. Bro, because they would always they were for girls. My stomach would hurt. It would be like those. Barbie colors. I'm like, yo, I want a fucking cookie, dog. Yeah, for real. Like, what the fuck? They can't make a Transformers fucking little microwave or some shit. Nah, they make a lot of trans shit like, now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that, motherfuckers. Nah, nah but, facts. But nowadays, man, like they banned a lot of the toys that. We used to use like yeah, because kids they were fucking up. killing themselves with that <laughs> shit. Like yo, a lot of the toys we grew up with was fucking dangerous, but no, like like here, go yeah. fucking have fun in the backyard. Yeah, for real. I go back there and you choked on this shit, like <laughs> for real, bro. Bro, you ever choked on anything when you were a kid? Like your nah, mom was like, I stuck some shit up my nose though. I did. I choked on a fucking giant grape. You know the giant grapes that you fucking the ones with the seeds. You you guys know they don't sell them that much anymore, but they're giant. I know what you're talking. And I'm fucking laying there, and my mom's like, "You're gonna choke. Sit up. Sit up. You gotta listen." And I was like, laying there, just sitting like this, laying back, just eating grapes. <laughs> eating grapes, <laughs> bro. And I fucking swallowed that giant grape. I was like. Ugh. And I was like, and my mom's like, ass. and then my mom's like trying to like take it out. And I went, punch you in your stomach, <laughs> and get you in the back of your head. And I finally head. got it out. And she's like, are you all right? And I'm like, yeah. And then she beat my fucking ass. <laughs> she smacked me in the back. Like, I fucking she, told you. She waited for me to say that I'm all right. She didn't want yeah, to hit me fact. while I'm choking, but you, know, you see what <laughs> no, I'm saying? No, you're getting your ass whooped. Yeah. So I got my ass whooped for that. I remember that shit. That was a giant fucking grave. I never fucking yeah. sat down and ate ever again. Now, I got hurt one time, though. Like, you got to listen to moms, bro. You yeah. learn these lessons. And now that as an adult, I look back, I'm like, yo, 
We should just should have listened. It was one time me and my sister were fucking. I've, I've talked about it before on here, I think. But we were playing tug of war with like a fucking stick or something. We're kid shit. Like we're fucking like. I was like four years old or some shit. Yeah. So I'm fucking. I was like, "It's my stick." She's like, "No, it's my stick." So we're fucking pulling back and forth. My mom's like, "Hey," like she's inside the house. She's he, she hears us. Yeah. You know, like in La Malquesina in Puerto Rico, like yeah. it's not a garage, but it's like an open type of garage type thing. But she hears us and she's like, "Yo, stop." Somebody's gonna get fucking hurt. And we're like, can't fucking pull in. My sister was, she's three years older than me. So when you're four, you know what I'm saying? And she's seven, that's a big, like, yeah, it's a big jump. Size difference. Yeah. So she pulled that shit. I slipped and busted my whole chin open. And I ran inside, and my mom's like, I told you, I told you fucking <laughs> <laughs> how to hop in the car go yeah. to the hospital yeah. bro get stitches it was stupid but you gotta listen to mom bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah I remember Kevin bro my mom said yo my little brother and he was into BMX that was when I was like BMXing and then he started doing what I was oh, doing oh yeah and your shit. long hair and shit yeah yeah and then like I remember they were like yo wear your helmet wear your helmet and he would start doing these little wheelies and this motherfucker did a wheelie <laughs> Landed right on the back of his flat ass head. <laughs> you ever That's probably why it's so flat. Bitch. You ever see those fucking people? They just got a flat fucking head in the back. Like Ferb. Like I swear, like Ferb, bro. <laughs> Phineas and Ferb. Yo, yes. You want to hear a crazy fucking story, bro? About Phineas and Ferb. I don't know if y'all remember that show, Phineas and Ferb. You know, that's just legendary. I was get. I just got hired at Spectrum, right? And they were doing a three week fucking training, and I remember that shit like yesterday. Oh, and uh. All right, so long story short, guys, because we're running out of time. This is what happened. So I'm in the class during training, and they're like, and, you know, introduce yourself. You know how when you're in a classroom, you have to introduce yourself? Like, hey, my name's John, whatever. Yeah. yeah, and everybody did that. And he's like, yeah, you know, you have to say something cool, like something, something about you. Something That's cool. <laughs> whatever. You know what I mean? You got a big dick. What, what you got? No, yeah, I got a big toe and a big dick. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> got a big toe. I got a fungus on the one, the other one not. No, nah, but anyways, but he's like, yeah, man, um... Oh, my son. I don't know if you ever watched Phineas and Ferb. Well, Ferb is, is actually my son. And then I thought about everybody God was giving him props and shit, but Ferb doesn't talk. <laughs> but yo, look, it's a Ferb, cartoon, though. Yo, first it? of all, it's a cartoon. <laughs> Second of all, why are you here working? That nigga's rich, right? Yeah, yeah, why are you here? That's what everyone was asking or like wondering. He's like, oh, you know, I just like to work. Ah, he probably just likes that to work. That makes sense. Yeah, and maybe he decent. don't fucks with you. Nah, <laughs> You're probably a piece of shit, dad. That's what I thought. I was like, I can't sit next to you. I don't know you. Your fucking son don't even like you. I don't even like you. You fucking work a bit of a way. Don't tell nobody that, bro. Like, I just bro, like to work. Fred don't even talk, my nigga. No, like, bro. Like, Fred. <laughs> Like two words every fucking five episodes or some shit. The fuck, bro? Holy shit, that's hilarious. Yeah, so what? Like, he only made like one little sound. He was like, yeah, (laughs) dumbass shit. (laughs) But listen, guys. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. We love you. We appreciate you. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Share it with a friend. Go in the description. Get yourself some merch. Yeah.